Hey everyone, so I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Modok Build-A-Figure from Toy Biz. So I'll go ahead and start off looking at the front of the figure. This is probably one of my top five uh, favorite Build-A-Figures. I just think he's got a, just a ton of detail. Um, just, just a great guy to have in your figure, especially I mean, in your collection, in your figure, in your collection, especially if you're, you know, uh, army building the AIM soldiers. He's definitely just, he's just a must-have. You have to have him. After that, I'm going to go ahead and look at closer up at the details of the figure. His face is just gruesome. Alright, I mean, look at that face. I mean, it's just, you know, Toy Biz is just known for the attention to detail. I mean, look at all the crinkles in the skin, the pink, the white eyes, and those teeth are just disgusting. And the way the lips look, they're all peeled back and white in the eye. I mean, just looks mean. Really nice detail. I mean, just, just a cool looking sculpt. Um, and then got the nice, you know, the band around his head. Um, just an awesome job. I really love all the wrinkles and just the flesh tones, perfect. The way the lips look, it's just, yeah, ugh, it's just creepy. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's just mean looking. It just looks like he's just insane. Um, and then look at the hair. Nice detail, nice sculpt over the hair. It's just a black, a brownish and black wash over, uh, but it's all nicely detailed. Um, it's more that's just, I don't know, it's just nasty looking. He's got mostly just kind of different shades of gold. He's got a, a lighter gold around the inner part, and then a, kind of a bronze over the top. I mean, look at the way the pot, I mean, just the way that whole looks. It just looks so cool. Um, the way those little cherries sit in. I and mean, it's just all these uh, sculpted details, and all the different golds and bronze. Just really, it's so nice looking. And the whole wave of this, you know, the Modoc wave is just really got a lot of cool figures in that wave too. All right, and he's just got kind of a just a blue arm. He's got his little blue legs. It's got the little handlebar coming out, so he can control his little chair. And then below has all the has the you know the rocket the, the booster going down. And it, what's cool? Look at that. It's translucent. Which, you know, I love tra the translucent plastic. Uh, I think that looks really awesome. You can see all kind of like the smoky look, like it's blasting, like he's blasting up out of his chair. Got a little silver panel here, all the bolts. You can see the bolt detail. And this all swivels, um, but it's got more of the bolts. Let's go ahead and rotate, it makes it easier. And it's just super detailed build a figure. I just, I think it just looks awesome. Got some more bolts. Um, Let's see his little, and this thing rotates. Ah, may as well go ahead and go into the articulation. He's not a ton of articulation, but it's good for uh, for this character. Um, his arms are on a little, they have a little upper thigh, I mean upper upper arm bicep swivel. He's got double, double jointed elbows. Uh, he's got, I don't know if he's got rotation at the wrist. Yeah, rotation at the wrist. Wrist moves down and up. Oops, sorry guys, didn't, didn't see. Down and up. Uh, he's got individual finger articulation, and that's it for the hands. Uh, the little joystick, or yeah, joystick, kind of can swivel up and down, so you can get him, you know, gripping onto it, no problem. Uh, his legs got upper thigh swivel. He's got double jointed knees. Let's see his little knees. Uh, his ankles move up and down. He's got a tiny little, no, never mind, no ankle rocker, and obviously no pickles at the bottom of the feet, there's no really point. Um, and then he's got rotation at the bottom of his base, so you can kind of rotate it as, depending on what part of the blast off you like, that best suits him. But overall, I just think this is such a cool figure, and I'll go ahead and show you a picture of, or show you him next to all the aim soldiers. All right, guys. Here he is next to all the Mar current Marvel Legends uh, AIM soldiers. I just—I mean, look at that. That just looks badass, right? I have not opened the ninth one. I probably should, I guess. Uh, but I mean, looking at him around the AIM soldiers, just looks sweet. I removed some of the belts to give them kind of some, make them look a little different from each other. But I—I mean, I highly recommend getting this build a figure if you have any chance to. Definitely pick him up. Um, I just think it's a sweet setup having him next to all the AIM soldiers. The I mean. I, I don't know. I can't speak highly of the figure, highly enough about the this build a figure. I think it's just an awesome build a figure. 
great detail. Um, just looks sweet, and at, uh, I'm just you know geeking out a little bit, just freaking out. It just looks really cool with all these guys next to him. But yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll, I will continue uh, posting up more videos. Hope you guys enjoy watching. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.